I was doing some research because I'm a professional, and your song, Come With Me Now, actually was already being played in South Africa in 2012. Yeah, Is that right? Correct, yeah. So, in that fashion, do you find that we're late on everything in the state? <laughs> so it depends. I think, you know, we, we just went to South African radio oh, yeah. first. So, uh, that, you know, it could have been the other way entirely, you know, like, there's no necessarily one person's late or not, you know, music well, takes a long time to be heard by everybody, it's so saturated out there. That's true. I just, I didn't know if you guys were ahead of everything, because your outfits are very, like, you know, fifth dimension, like, from the future. <laughs> so I didn't know if, like, this is how I'm going to be dressing, yeah. like, in two years. You could be, but if you were dressing like me in two years, I wouldn't be very happy with well, that. I'm, I'm already close to having that beard. <laughs> I, I shaved for you guys. Thank you. That's a, I'm a lady. I just shaved. You are here. a professional indeed. <laughs> um, now you guys come from a line of uh, musicians. Your dad was an artist too, right? Yeah. So I I know that you guys credit him a lot for encouraging the band because um, they're brothers. I should have thrown that out there. Um, would you? Do you think you would have been in a band regardless? Like, do you have that music in you if it wasn't for your dad? I, I don't know. That's a pretty difficult question to answer. But Am from I the beginning, our, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> our dad and mom, you know, from the start, they started us playing music from a really early age, as if it was any other subject like mathematics or language. Or they said you're going to play music. So it wasn't until later that we kind of just decided once we started having fun jamming together that it was going to be a band. I don't think they really had the the um, foresight to say like we're going to bang out a band and they're going to be rock stars or whatever. <laughs> All my mom taught me was not to eat dirt. So I'm like pretty mad at her because I could basically be on stage with you guys had she put an instrument in my hand. Yeah. Um, there's, now, no, there's no professional dirt eating. No. So. No, I tried. I, I sent him to the Olympics and they said no. Um, so our intern, uh, he is also in a band and he's kind of a nerd about everything. So we're like, you're going to create all of the artist questions and see what he came up with. So let's read one of intern Alex's interview questions. Um, is that just an excuse for you guys? to? No, like, like literally like this is him. Um, so <laughs> if you were stranded on a deserted island, what is one thing you would need? What we would need? Yeah, aside from water and air. I don't know what kind of question this is. Internet access. Yeah. Yes. Instagram. That way I could Google how to survive on an island. Touche, sir. Touche. <laughs> you really make my eating dirt look really, really bad with all your smart answers. Uh, one more, one more. Um, what bands have inspired you the most? I think a, a, one of the main ones that inspired us is a, this West African band called Tinariwen. That, although you don't hear the direct influence, I don't think in our music it has been a huge influence on everything we've done. Tinariwen? Yeah, T-I-N-A-R-I-W-E-N. All right, I'm putting that on my workout playlist. Yeah. And, and if I it's, don't it's lose very five chill. pounds, I'm Yeah, but it's very you. chill. You might not get that inspired to work out. <laughs> you might just be like, I think I'm going to sit back. All right. So then I'll go to sleep to it. Um, all right, we have Congos. They take the stage at 1.30. Um, and then you guys are nice enough to stick around and you're going to sign some stuff for the people at 3.30 at the Monster Energy Drink uh, tent. All those details, xl102richmond.com. Type in keyword chili. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, no Thank problem. you for having Thanks us. For having Thanks us. for having us here.